Today my little guy and I are going to show you how to make these no-bake peanut butter bars. So I've been obsessed with peanut butter desserts lately. Bradley and I both really love peanut butter, where my hubby and my son aren't big fans of peanut butter. But let me know in the comments below if you guys are team peanut butter like Bradley and me. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're gonna need two sticks of butter. Yeah, I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, you open the other one. I'll open I, this one. I'll open it. So that I open the butter like mommy. Great job, Bradley. Okay, so we're gonna wanna melt the butter. Um, we're gonna do this in the microwave. Can I chop? And to melt the butter faster, we're gonna. I'm gonna chop. I'm yes, gonna you chop could do it. the second one. We're just gonna cut it into slices. Can I chop, chop, chop? Yes, you I can. Chop. Great job. Keep going. Uh, they don't have to be perfect slices. Well, this I'm making long. a tall mountain. A tall mountain? Oh, we knocked down the mountain. All right. Now we did it. It's okay. Yes. So we knocked down the mountain. It looks like I'm making this. Now. Yes. All right. Want to get them in the bowl? Get them in the bowl, man. All right. Okay, I'm going to taste it. No, don't eat butter by itself. I like it. No. Can I just try? Here, okay, I'll cut you a, I'll cut you a slice. Cut me a slice. My kids eat butter and sourdough all the time, so he loves butter. All right, and I'm gonna microwave this in about 30 second intervals until the butter is nice and melted. Let's open it up. Okay. Now that our butter is all nice and melted, I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna work on our cookie crumbs. Yeah, I'm and gonna smash them. You're gonna smash them, yes. I'm gonna smash and them harder. Yes, and the cookies I like to use is Biscoff. I remember getting these cookies on the airplane. I used to call them airplane cookies, but now they're sold everywhere. If you can't find them, you can go ahead and use graham cracker crumbs. That'll work just fine. You wanna use two cups of any type of like cookie crumbs. You can use Biscoff, graham cracker crumbs. You could even use, this is very similar. I feel like they taste almost the same. Speculose, speculose, speculose. Oh. These are from Trader Joe's. Speculose, speculose. They're spelled O-O with an O-O, so I don't, I, I, I heard it pronounced speculose. Anyways, you can use these cookies too. Okay, let's get started on All about crumbs. smashing. Yes. Smash. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a baseball bat because So it's excited so to take his aggression out on the cookies. And I play baseball. Oh, I'm not a ball, don't hit me. I can play baseball. Yeah. Because Aaron Norton's Yes, his older brother Aaron is in baseball camp right now. He, if you guys don't know, he's a huge baseball fan. He loves the Dodgers and the Angels. Well, I like I like the red team. The red team, so you like the Angels. We go to Angels games often. Yeah. All right. Cookies. To not, in order to not make a mess. Oh, you can have one. Okay. We're gonna put it in a resealable Ziploc bag. Squeeze all the air out and smash away. And the reason why I'm not putting this in a food processor is because I don't want the crumbs to be finely crushed. We want like nice chunks of cookie in our peanut butter bars. It's gonna be a nice crunch in the bar. So that's why we're just gonna like roughly top it. Look, I'm crunchy. Yes. And you could use a rolling pin if you have one. You can use a meat mallet to crunch or to smash them. You could even use a can. Hey! have in your kitchen. Are we double teaming? Yeah. So our graham crackers are crushed and, and now we're gonna do the melted butter. Yes, go ahead and add the melted butter into the bowl, Bradley. <laughs> Careful. Spill. Good job. I like. Can you imagine if we spilt this butter everywhere? That would be not good. More butter? Mm. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna need one cup of peanut butter. Yeah, and we're gonna dump it in yes, there too. Yes, and this is not the time to use the healthy stuff like this, the organic peanut butter. It's too liquidy. This is the butter that, the peanut butter that we use to put in our oatmeals and sandwiches. But for today, for our dessert, we need creamy peanut butter. So no healthy peanut butters here. <laughs> yeah, no healthy peanut butter. They're already empty. Okay, Whoa. So we're gonna need one cup, so let's measure this out. 
you. And Bradley could literally just eat peanut butter off the spoon, huh? You love it so much? Nice. By itself? Get them. All in the pool. All in the pool, man. <laughs> ah! Peanut butter flew onto my dress. There you go, I fixed it. Oh, thank you. Eat it? Okay. Okay, Bradley, you wanna lick the spoon? Yeah. Okay. While he's licking the spoon, I'm gonna get it all mixed up. Nom nom. So I have my electric mixer here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna put it all over myself too. Oh my gosh. Now I'm on low, on low. There we go. Mix. Right? Time to add the sugar. We're gonna need one and how much is this? Two. Oh, I think it's one. Oh yeah, five pounds. Five pounds. It's five pounds of sugar. No. This is not five pounds of sugar. This is one and three fourths cups of powdered sugar. So go ahead and dump that right in. Dump that dump. man out. All right. Sugar, dump that sugar. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix. Go ahead. Is that your happy dance? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh my God, what is happening today? That's what that sound was. Whoa. All over the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I mean, that's, what happens. that's part of real life. Okay. Are oh, you want to lick that? I'm sorry, I forgot. You want to lick that while I keep going? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now that everything is nice and combined, I'm going to go ahead and add in our cookie crumbs. Cookie crumbs. Yes. And like I said, everything's not finely crushed. There are some chunks of cookie in here, but it will add some nice texture to our bars. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it right in. Well, well, I, well I look this. Okay, while you lick that, you work on licking that and I will continue to work. Okay, so we have everything nice and combined. And here I have a nine by nine inch baking dish. And you wanna use something similar in size to this. And I'm gonna go ahead and line it with some parchment paper. And the parchment paper is really gonna help with slicing our bars. We're just gonna go ahead and lift it up and then slice them and it's just gonna be so easy to take out of the dish. And we're just gonna yeah. scoop it evenly into the dish. And it's really hard not to just like eat this as I go along because this part is so good. Okay, here, you wanna lick this one? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be so full by the time we get through with this recipe. And you just wanna evenly spread everything out. And I forgot to mention that even though my older son, Aaron, and my hubby don't, aren't really peanut butter fans, they do actually like this dessert. So he's a fan if it's really good, like these bars. Okay, so I have the mixture all nice and smooth and out. And we're just gonna place this in the fridge while we work on our chocolate topping. Yeah, and we're, and we're gonna get a bowl. Yes. Okay, so for the chocolate topping, we are gonna be needing one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Yeah. Excited for the chocolate? I'm ready for the eat chocolate. Okay. Isn't that the best combo? Peanut butter and chocolate. So that's, you wanna, whoa, whoa, you wanna add them in? Okay, I'll do the first one. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I like to eat these. And what I love about this dish is there is absolutely no baking involved. And it's so hot here in Southern California that I do not wanna turn on my oven. Yum. And then we're also going to need one fourth cup of peanut butter. Butter again? Yes. All right, and I'm just gonna add this right in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and melt this in the microwave in 45 second intervals until everything is nice and melted and smooth. Our chocolate is nice and melted. It actually only oh, took me 45 seconds in the I, microwave I, and I gave I, it a good can mix. I, can I mix it? Yes. And yes, it only took me 45 seconds in the microwave. Give it a mix and it's nice and smooth. So now we are ready to pour on top of our peanut butter mixture. Ready, Bradley? Okay, let's pour this right in. And 
we're just gonna pour oh, yeah. it nice and evenly oh. over. That looks like a grow coaster. <laughs> it does? Mm -hmm, because they're like, the people are like, ah. <laughs> he says it looks like a roller coaster. Whee. So now I'm gonna go in. Where's my spatula? Well, I'll just use a spoon. And smooth it over. Smooth it. Yeah, hold on, let me do this part. Smooth. Yes. Smooth, please. Okay, you wanna smooth? Here. Yay. Okay, softly. Great job. We're gonna give these to my best friend, neighbor, Brandon. <laughs> and I'm not gonna have a party with him. Okay, but your birthday's not coming up. His best friend, who happens to live next door, um, his birthday is tomorrow. Well, he's celebrating his birthday tomorrow, so we're gonna give these bars to him, right? Yeah. So now that everything is smoothing out, we're gonna set it back in the fridge and we're gonna let it set for two more hours. And then after two hours, you, everything should be set and we'll slice them up. And this is perfect if you wanna make this a make-ahead dessert. You can do this the night before and it'll be ready for you and perfectly set the next day. Okay. Okay, so our bars have been chilled for about two hours now and now we are ready to slice them up. And yes, the parchment paper really helped. Look, it's nice and clean. I don't even have to wash this. I'm gonna actually, because it looks kind of like raised at the ends here, I'm just gonna trim the ends off so it's nice and even. I'm very careful, I'll be very careful, okay? You don't have to do this. I just want the ends to be nice and straight. Like I said, you can just skip this part. And you can cut this on however big or little you want them. Um, these are very rich, so I don't want them too big. Or too, or too tiny. Or too small, you're very right. Are you my little garbage disposal? Mm -hmm. You're gonna eat the little ends? You normally don't have too much sugar on a daily basis, but it's a special occasion. Right, Bradley? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect square right here. Yeah. Don't these bars look so good. Hi. Hi! Okay, so Aaron is back from baseball camp and we are ready to do the taste test. And I just wanna let you guys know, make sure to refrigerate these bars until you serve them because it is summer and you don't want it to melt on you. So keep them, store them in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's all grab Trust a piece. Me. One, two, three, and cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. Delicious. 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 They're really good cold. It makes you feel, it makes you feel happy. It makes you feel happy? Aw. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup with, with like crispy bits inside. Mm. Is that what it tastes like to you? Mm hmm Yeah? Yeah, it tastes like to me. Too. Okay. Yeah, it really melts fast because my, <laughs> look at my finger. Well, your, your hand is warm. Look at my finger. Anything else you want to add? Subs. Subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. Now. Now. <laughs> you guys, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take oh. care. Take care. Bye. Smash the bell notification. <laughs> like mm. this. Oh my God. You finished Smash it already? The bell mm -hmm. Wow, you're fast. Mm -hmm. you, you just smash it. Like <laughs> so, this on your phone? Smash. <laughs> Do this on your phone, smash it!